Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Unlock Your Learning. In this video, we are going to solve ICSC Mathematics Class 7 Chapter 19 Speed, Time and Distance Exercise 19A Question 5. And it says, a bus travels from New Delhi to Jaipur at a speed of uh, 60 km per hour for 4 hours 48 minutes. How far is New Delhi from Jaipur, right? So basically, it is a bus is traveling from two cities, New Delhi to uh, Jaipur, right? And it is traveling at a speed of 60 km per hour at a uniform speed. That means the speed every uh, at every single place is 60 km per hour. It is not increasing nor it is decreasing. So you see that uh, the time uh, is also there that is 4 hours 48 minutes. So if it goes at 60 km per hour for 4 hours and 48 minutes, it reaches Jaipur from Delhi, right? Uh, so it is asking us the distance from New Delhi to Jaipur, right? So suppose this is New Delhi and this is Jaipur, right? This is uh, New Delhi, fine. And up here is Jaipur. So the bus is going from here to here. And the speed of the bus is 60 kilometers per hour. And the time the bus is taking from here to here, right? From going from here to here, that is uh, 4 hours and 48 minutes, right? Now we have to identify the distance in this. That what is the distance in this, right? Between New Delhi and Jaipur. So we all know that speed equals to distance upon time fine distance upon time um, so what all do we know from this we know the speed speed equals uh, to uh, this is 60 kilometers per hour fine so 60 kilometers per hour right and then we know the time that is what 4 hours and 40 minutes 48 minutes right so here is uh, one thing you need to keep a check of that is the time. See, the time cannot be in two units that is hour or minutes together, nor can it be in minutes and seconds together. It has to be in one single unit and that, uh, and that too the unit should be the appropriate unit. You cannot use hours with meters, nor can you use sec uh, this uh, seconds with kilometers. That will be wrong. So you see this that four hours, 48 minutes. Time here, uh, the speed is in kilometers per hour. So per hour is given and the time we know 4 hours are complete and there are 48 minutes. So convert this into uh, a fraction. See, 4 hours will be as it is, right? 4 hours will be as it is plus 48 minutes will be converted into hours. So whenever we are converting minutes to hours, what do we do? Divide it by 60, fine. So this becomes 48 upon 60 hours, fine. So, cancel this, cancel this, uh, 4 and 5, right? So, 4 whole, 4 upon 5 hours and that you can convert it into an improper fraction because it is a mixed fraction but generally we do not use them for calcula uh, calculation purposes, right? So, 5 into 4, 20 and 20 plus 4 becomes 24 upon 5 hours. Now, this is the time, okay? This is the, this is the complete time in hours. Not in minutes and hours, but just in hours. Okay, now we know the time that is in hours, 24 upon 5 hours. We know the speed that is 60 kilometers per hour. Here only see, speed equals distance upon time. So this time will go here, right? So what do we get here? Distance equals to speed. Time here it is dividing. Time is dividing the distance. Here it will multiply the speed, right? So speed into time. Now put the value. We know speed is 60 kilometers per hour into time is 24 upon 5 hours. Put it as it is. Multiply them now. 1 and 1. Okay, I'll cancel it by 5 only. So 1 and 2. Uh, 10. So 2 times, right? So we get 12 into 24. Fine. 12 4s are 48 and 4 12 2s are uh, 12 times 2, 24 again and 4 becomes uh, 28, right? So 288 kilometers, right? This becomes our distance, fine. So the distance, so this becomes our answer, fine. 288 kilometers. And friends, this is all for today. If you are new to my YouTube channel, do not forget to subscribe. Till then, take good care and bye bye.